Hi, so here we are again at the Dewberry Gallery uh, in Midtown, and we're here to talk to Karen Shackham about her MFA thesis show called Couples. Um, so Karen, tell me what the show is about. Sure. So this is a piece I started about a year and a half ago, um, looking at couples in the queer community. So what I did was queer couple portraits, so gay, lesbian, transgender couples, and it's something that I just felt like I wasn't seeing around me, and it's a project that I took on, and I started photographing lesbian couples, and then I expanded it to include the queer community. Mm -hmm. um, and your the aesthetic look of the show, they're all very different, but very much the same. Why, can you tell me about that, how you controlled that, and, and what that, those, the, the backgrounds and the outfits, what, sure. what that's really about. Sure, so I started, I had this idea of the backgrounds. It came to me when I was thinking about family portraits and family portraiture and what I grew up looking at. And the first thing that came to me was these backgrounds of fabric and ornate portraiture and kind of what that used to look like with these gold frames. And I really felt like I just wanted to see queer couples in those same portraits and same positions that I've been seeing growing up of other families and um, even throughout history in portraiture. Mm -hmm. And so starting to photograph these couples, I felt like the idea of um, gay marriage has been in the news mm -hmm. so much recently. And I started to feel like people kept asking me questions about marriage and if I was getting married and when I was going to get married. And that started to overshadow kind of acceptance of just them as people. This is something that I wanted to bring power back to this community, and I felt like for a long time, you know, gay and queer art has been very sexual, and I think that was perfect for the time that it happened in. And I feel like in my time, and you know, in my community now, what I feel like the discussion is around marriage and gay marriage, and you know, that is really important, and having equal rights is really important, but I feel like the issue now is of acceptance of these couples as people and just I wanted to show them as any other couple would be shown and kind of elevate them to this kind of powerful place. Portraiture is a pretty traditional form and this kind of like straight portraiture. Right. So how do you think that this style of portraiture really fits into uh, the contemporary art world? Yeah, I mean, I consider myself more of a documentary photography and for me this was about documenting my community. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like portraiture has been a part of art for since the beginning of art history. And whether it was painting or drawing, and then finally when it came to photography, portraiture has always, or in my eyes, been part of the center of art and looking at communities and dissecting what communities are. So I feel like this kind of fits into that and almost like a new way of looking at it and a new way of looking at portraiture and couples and fitting it into the larger context of, you know, fitting it into the environment. Mm -hmm. I still wanted to maintain that aspect of the energy of this community, and that was part of the background as well. I wanted it to have this positive, you know, popping off the page energy that I feel like this community has, and I, mm -hmm. I feel like that should still be maintained even if you're fighting for these rights that everyone else has and becoming part of the norm or the normalized culture. That was part of the background, is bringing out this energy and this excitement to who these people are. Mm -hmm. And it is part of the, of the aesthetic uh, uniformity uh, to kind of make the whole, the whole idea of homosexual couples less threatening? Exactly. I feel like I wanted... I wanted people to relate to these couples and, you know, for a long time the gay and queer community and art were trying to be separate and I think that made sense for the time that it was, but I think, you know, with gay marriage and wanting equal rights, it is about these people as people and a couple and love and relationships is the same across the board and so that was part of what I wanted. I wanted it to be non-threatening and kind of for people to really just relate to who they were looking at. All right, well, thank you.